My name is Ruth Gilbert and I want to tell you about three things that we did in the Ivory Coast where my husband and I were assigned for six years. We worked on women's education, uh, we worked on a health box in the village and baby weighing. So let me start with the women's education. Um, in the Ivory Coast, men did all the agricultural training and there was a organization called INADES that did it and they were right close to where we lived. And we were trying to figure out how to engage women in agricultural education because they're the ones who raise the food for the family. So we went to INADES and asked if we could conduct their agricultural training for groups of women in the villages. And we arranged a couple of different things that took some conversation and negotiation, but one was um, we would translate their training curriculum from French, which is the language of the Ivory Coast, into Baole, which was the local language. That was the first thing. And we'd have it on tape. So then we had to get tape recorders and tapes. And then we wanted to have a group of women, because they're working all day in their villages, raising money for their own food production for their family to gather in the evening after dinner and listen to the tape. Then they would have conversation about the tape and then at one point there would be an exam. So we got permission for the exam to be taken as a group and to be taken orally. So the question would be asked um, in Baole and the women would discuss the question, come up with an answer that they agreed was good or accurate and then they would say it in Bali and that would get translated into French and then the test would go down to Inades where they would do the correction and whatever. And these are women who've been working hard all day but the opportunity to gather as a group of women in the evening and to learn something new and to learn something new that would be applicable to their daily agricultural work was quite phenomenal and we were really pleased with that effort but it took a lot of people to get permission to do the translation from French to Baole and all that had to be, all their discussion had to be, anyway, it was a lot, it was a lot of work. So that was the one thing that we did in the Ivory Coast. And we were working with <clears throat> about 60 villages up in the um, province of Boaké, or the town of Boaké, near Boaké. Um, so the second thing that we worked on were Medicine boxes. We all have medicine boxes in our houses. And they take, they have aspirin and stuff for constipation and diarrhea and, you know, whatever. It's a, me it's a medicine box. But in villages, they don't have medicine boxes. If they ha get sick, they have to take a day off work, wait for a bus, travel four or six hours to a major city, go to the pharmacy, buy a bottle of pills, which would be very expensive, and get back on the bus, travel all the way home, and then deliver the medicine. So we wanted the medicine that they need in the village, in the village. So we created a, a chest that had medicines in it. Then we had to work with the uh, villages so that they understood the medicine box did not belong to the person who had the medicine box in the village and it didn't belong to the family of the person who had the medicine box. And the medicine box did not belong to the chief. The medicine box belonged to the whole village. And so if somebody borrowed either money or pills without paying so that they could celebrate a funeral or some other pressure for raising money, then there wouldn't be any money in the medicine box to replace the medicine. So you could go to the medicine box man and get for a pill for diarrhea or for malaria or for whatever. And you could pay for one pill or two pills or however many you needed. So it's very convenient, but it took a lot of education about what property was, who owned it or didn't own it, how money would be handled because it's really easy for money to slip around. So <clears throat> then we had to arrange for the person with the medicine box to learn how to 
get down to the major city and we also work, hook them up with the regional medicine place where they could go buy medicine so they learned how to operate in the city and that was a that was a good success for us and the third thing we <coughs> were concerned about was babies dying early and we found that they often were we were losing babies just as they were being weaned. So we knew there was an issue with when you're going off breast milk onto whatever the family eats, that there was a problem there. Kids were either getting diarrhea or they weren't getting enough. So, <clears throat> and I know baby weighing has been used in many places now, but we figured out how to get a, a strap to hold the baby and how to hang the baby and how to have a tripod that you could carry that would be strong enough to hang the baby and weigh the baby. And we taught women how to take the measure. I can't remember now if it was once a month or once a week for young babies. So we got record keeping, the whole idea of record keeping and finding a box and finding a name. There was a whole lot of education and skills learning for women to learn how to do that. And then we had to talk about what does a baby need when he's moving from, or she, from breast milk to family milk and how to create other forms of nutrition that would help make that work. But we could catch babies that were beginning to lose too much weight and then we could intervene. So that was a, th a third thing. And I know that there was a lot of fundraising done on those three arenas so that other people could also do some of that work. But those are the s three stories I have from the Ivory Coast and I'm sure my husband could have told them much better, but he's the storyteller in the family.